Go to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media. Support this channel by becoming a member and unlock the future of video. Product reviews, travel, and more on Tilted Tripod Media. Click that subscribe button and welcome to the future of video. And smash the bell icon to be notified about weekly videos. Welcome to the Carnation City Mall in Alliance, Ohio. This is a fully enclosed, single-story, 310,000 square foot mall. The mall was built in 1983 in an area that was mostly homes and farm fields. The original anchors would be JCPenney and a Kmart. I believe from the information I read that this Dunham Sports used to be the Kmart. In 1988, a hotel was built onto the backside of the mall. So I'd never been to this mall before, this was my first trip, and I have to say I was kind of shocked when I walked inside. The aesthetics are pretty great in this mall. When I visited this mall, it was anchored by the Sofa Store, JCPenney, Dunham Sports, and if you want to call these ones anchors, it had the cinema and the arcade. Plus the hotel, that might be considered also an anchor because it is attached. You know, the only other mall I can recall that I've ever been to that has a hotel attached to it is the Laurel Park Place in Livonia, Michigan. I have yet to film that and I need to get back out there and film that mall. It's kind of a unique place. I just love how they kept the retro aesthetics of this uh, mall directory sign here with all the bright colors. It's actually really great. I don't think I've ever seen a store, and especially in a mall that has a stained glass sign like that, that was really unique. And here we're taking a look at the Elder Beerman. This closed in 2018 along with all the other Elder Beermans due to bankruptcy. And here, this is a look at what's left inside the Elder Beerman. This mall is very dated, but you know, I like that kind of a thing. It uh, gives it some charm, and it's almost kind of set up and decorated like maybe a main street, because it's got these uh, like street lamp poles running throughout the uh, mall corridors, and I like those. Those are really nice. So like I said before, I like the way this mall looks, but I'm sure a lot of people just drive to the newer, more fancier malls throughout the uh, Cleveland, Akron, Canton area. Um, so obviously this one needs some renovation and updating to attract new tenants and new shoppers. I like the way that this center court looks, however I did realize it's quite huge and like a waste of space. I would have liked to see like a fountain in here or just something. Maybe there was at one time. I don't know, I couldn't find any information as to whether there was.
since filming this mall, the Napoli Pizza has served its last slice and is now permanently closed. Stop sitting around like a couch potato. Get up, find some spare change, and head to the Carnation City Mall Arcade. Play awesome games like Raptor Capture, the number one ticket winning game in the country, or Need for Speed Carbon, which you play on a machine built by the owner Mike Ford. Play classics like skee ball, or basketball, or fun shoot 'em up like Silent Scope. While at the Carnation City Mall Arcade, get in on the great token deals. There are amazing deals for free tokens. The arcade can also be the hotspot for your next party. Call Mike Ford at 330-821-4447 to book your party or for more information on token deals and ticket redemption hours. So stop in today at the Carnation City Mall Arcade, located in the Carnation City Mall Food Court, to play fun games and win great prizes. I really do want to come back and uh, make another trip to this mall, uh, mainly to visit things like the arcade, uh, because I didn't get any time to spend inside of the arcade itself, and it looked like it was a pretty good one. really hard time finding um, information on this mall and its history. Um, I did find out that in 2012 they did some improvements, just minor things like updates to the restrooms and new street pylons and LED signs, um, nothing major. Some sources say that it was renovated in 2009. So I'm trying to figure out what this restaurant used to be. It looks like maybe some kind of Mexican place or tropical themed restaurant. I don't know. I did, however, read that this mall used to have a Friendly's restaurant, I guess, in the food court, and then it became a China Express. Ah, you know what it was? It was South Beach, a tropical themed restaurant, and I found a photo of it. So I found this interesting video back from 2017 when Troy Servant visited the mall and gave a performance. Now obviously for copyright strikes I'll have to mute his song and replace it, but I hope you guys enjoy. Since we announced that you were coming here to Q92, our fans have gone completely insane. They are so excited. They're calling from all over. And I know you started out, you know, YouTube vlogging. How do your fans play a part in that? I mean, they're everything. You know, they, they are the whole, uh, the whole thing for me. You know, I started off just uploading YouTube videos, and uh, yeah, it's always been about like them and about that connection. And um, you know, I don't know where I would be without them. I really enjoyed my trip here to the Carnation City Mall and I hope you did too. I'm going to leave you with a few old photos of the mall so you can see what it used to look like. This has been another episode of Urbex. I want to thank everyone for joining me and all of your continued support. If you wouldn't, head on over to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media. Join, become a member, and help support the future of video. 
Any amount of donation will go a long way to help keep this channel running, and you'll get all the benefits of becoming a member. For more information and details, head on over to patreon.com slash tiltedtripodmedia today. And as always, smash the bell icon here on YouTube so that you'll stay up to date on all the latest videos and become a subscriber by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video, everyone.